Hey, hey, what's this? What's all this stuff, you ask? Well, this is one of my projects. This is Chris Wicks. Um, I made this a while back ago, and I forgot to show you guys. It slipped my mind. It's been sitting on the shelf for quite a while. You're probably wondering what it is. Well, this is a portable charger station. Now, it's all ready to charge. It's on storage mode, so I'm going to take these off. And you're going to need just a regular battery. Just unplug it to make it safe. Okay, so what do I have on top? Well, you're going to need like a some kind of DC to AC transformer, which I just have this simple 100 watt because it's got a USB port and it's got a regular plug and port. So what I did is I went and got a regular cigarette lighter and I routed it so the plus goes to the fuse and the fuse goes to the plus and I use these like uh, 30 amp car fuses you could use 10 15 it open it up and show you in just a second and then you run the negative wire over to the post now it's pretty easy you just open it up it's got waterproof you stick this in here like this and uh, well before I do that I probably want to see uh, for storage okay I have it disconnected to where I could just pull it and plug it and pull it this is probably not the best to do. Let's plug this in. See that? So you got, uh, so it doesn't have a continuous, you know, you plug it in. All right, so let's plug this in. And I got power. So it's a portable charging station. If you're ever vaping and you're nowhere in emergency, keep a backup. You can charge your vape stuff off it. Well, let's see. Can it charge some vape stuff? I'm going to check it out. Let's see, I got this MP3. I'm going to hook it up. Now we'll charge it off of this. Now it's running independently all off this battery. There's no hidden tricks or anything. Just a simple conversion. Now we got a, a light, so that's good. I'm going to plug it to the bottom of here. And we shall see if it works. Boom. Look at that. Charging the MVP of a portable battery station. Now how cool is that? So you definitely want something in case of emergencies and it's good for cell phones. Um, you could definitely plug small electronics, maybe laptops, but that's kind of pushing it. Now I do want to see if it's going to charge my night core. So here's the night core. We got some batteries in here. Hold your fingers and see if it'll charge the night core. Boom, look at that. Let's see. Oh, plug fell out. Charging the night cores. So you definitely have a portable battery station in case of emergency. It should last quite a while. You just need some kind of trickle charger, usually for like an RC. Uh, you get a 12 volt battery and uh, you make this little rig and you get one of these little 100 watts. I'm sure you could e even beef up the watts a little bit. But this is perfect for charging small electronics like your vaping stuff when you're camping. Um, don't have access to it. It's definitely something every vapor should have. Uh, this is Chris Wicks. Thanks for watching uh, Gnomish, Gnomish Engineering at its best. But I really think you guys should make one of these. And uh, let me know what you think. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it.